Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for the 12th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and even for the reading that I did yesterday, you know, when I say this day, that's the reading I'm picking up for this day. But these readings, they tend to play out anywhere from the day it's recorded to weeks later or even days later or something like that. Everybody's timing is different. So let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I have for this full moon? What is this full moon energy bringing in in the next couple of days or the next week? Something about the... Uh, 11 days later, 11, 12 days later. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel that. So, 10 days later. I don't know. Week and a half. Something like that. I don't know. What do we got, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What is this full moon bringing in? Well, that's pretty prominent. It's right where it needs to be. Huh? Ooh, okay. So, you know, I'm not sure if that card is supposed to be upright or not. But what I have to say when I look at that card is be careful what you wish for. Because you might just get it. Okay. But I also want to let you know that, um, you know, there could be some manipulation around. There could be some lies, some deception. Uh, somebody could be trying to control another person. Keep that in mind. Be careful what you are manifesting because this is a powerful time of manifesting, especially today, when today this is being recorded. But just, just, just be careful. Um, the magician reversed. There's some somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve. So keep that in mind. priestess you may not be aware that somebody has tricks up their sleeve and that is the importance of reversals you may not be aware you may not be seeing it clearly you may think that you know but you don't so be careful not to think that you know more than you do because you may not know you may not be aware you could be dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas and you just don't see it maybe you're you got your rose colored glasses on or you're living in fantasy land think about the reversals for a minute a lot of people don't want to see reversals that's fantasy and if I didn't have reversals right now this would be a completely different message I wouldn't be telling you to be careful. Somebody has some tricks up their sleeve and you may not be seeing it. I'd be telling you, you know it. You know what's going on. The fact is, you don't. The Hierophant, God is in control. There's a higher power in control. The only person that really knows truthfully is God or a higher power and they can give you the divine guidance that you need and they give you information, but some people don't listen. This is a card of faith and trust, believing in yourself. It's kind of funny because it's exactly the opposite of the High Priestess, but the Hierophant is the highest authority. A higher power. So perhaps you need to get some sort of counseling or you need to seek wise counsel. If you are unsure or if you feel like you're being manipulated or lied to or something like that, perhaps you need to seek some sort of counsel or go within and meditate to get the true answer make sure you're not being superficial
Now, the Hierophant is it's also time to deepen your practice. Set clear intentions. There could also be some possible legal matters here. We have all majors. Majors mean that there is this universal uh, guidance here. There's universal help. The, the universe is, uh, or the planetary aspects, or however you want to look at it, there is help from a higher power right now. Wow, another major. Somebody's clinging to control, and it's it's clear. It's very clear. We got somebody here that doesn't want to relinquish control, and they'll do anything to keep control. This person is uh, of a low vibration. This person um, is stuck in a negative mindset. They're refusing, or they don't want, or they don't believe in destiny and fate. They don't believe in divine timing. This is somebody that um, thinks that they know it all, but on more of a like a, a 3D level, when there's really a higher power in control, it's time to surrender. It's time to let go of control. It's time for change. There's time for a cycle to end, but somebody is refusing to let it in, and it's all about power and control. But there's a higher power involved that actually is in control and knows what's best. But we have somebody who wants to fight it. Absolutely, somebody wants to fight divine order. Five of Wands. So there is going to be some sort of conflict, power struggles, push and pull. You know, going back and forth, people people going at each other. This is like, who's going to win? Who's going to win? You know, I want to win. I want to, I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to let go. You know, back and forth. We got, we got a couple people opposing each other. And it's like both are pulling and, and tugging at and trying to prove that they're stronger. So we definitely have some sort of conflict here or competition. We have a competition. We have somebody here that has some nasty tricks up their sleeve. They may be keeping it to themselves. Clinging to control. But remember, there's a higher power that sees all. There's a higher power that sees this all. So there's some sort of competition going on. And then we got somebody here that is really uh, scheming. We have a schemer. Two of Wands reverse. This person is trying to stop another person from moving forward, trying to block. We got somebody here that is trying to block somebody from going through a new doorway. You could be blocking yourself. Um, it's like there's a new doorway that is trying to open, but somebody is just refusing to cross that bridge. They're refusing to remove the barrier. They're restricting themselves. They're delaying. They're trying to delay. They're too afraid, trying to stay in their safety zone. Somebody is really afraid of the unknown, so they're absolutely positively stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. And one of the reasons they're stuck is because of control. It's like they have this this, this sick ego where they, they really need to control. And it's like they don't care who they hurt. They don't care who's involved as long as they win. So we got somebody here that just wants to win. There's fear of change with that two of wands. Big, big, big fear of change. Ten of Wands, we got somebody here that is very, very overwhelmed, overwhelmed, trying to do too much, um, definitely trying to prove, trying to prove a point. We have somebody here that is competing heavily only to prove a point, but it's killing them. It really is killing them. Eventually, this person's not going to be able to take it anymore, and they're going to have to give up. They're going to have to let go. So sooner or later, this person is going to let go because it's 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 hurting them. They can't. They're right now. They they may be able to still hold on, but soon, very very soon, they're going to let go. So somebody is about to uh, drop something because it, it's just too much. It is too much. Right now, they're trying to prove themselves because they're clinging to control. But soon, they're gonna they're they're gonna stop because it, they can't do it anymore. It's like. This is too much to carry. It's too much to hold on to. They're going to see the situation clearly after being 
in a state of confusion of some sort with the high priestess or this person could just have hidden agendas they're trying to control but they're from they're going from not seeing clearly to seeing clearly that's interesting so they it starts out with all about being about control and it's like then they realize something they get some sort of clarity it's all about love this could have something to do about a child they may they may realize something about a child they may realize something about love what love is what love isn't um this is a very intense time somebody is feeling very very emotional trying to cling to control there's grieving there's sadness there could be some guilt it's like this person is just about ready to let go so somebody has been holding on to something out of of for all the wrong reasons and they are about to uh it's like they're about to end it it's like they're just sick of it they are they're just sick of it this is this is it's like they 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 have been refusing to see that there was a better opportunity for love and they were refusing to see it because of their um, ego, okay, because of their ego. But it's like now, it's like now they realize, that's what I feel like, that there's some sort of shift. We go some, from somebody who has hidden agendas and egotistical and greedy and shady and tricky and sneaky and controlling this person starts out in that manner where I just want to win and I don't really care about love to realizing, you know what, there's a better opportunity for love here. I should just let this go. So somebody is, it's like realizing because this is realizing. This is also a card of consequences. So somebody may be suffering some sort of consequences that wakes them up in some way. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving. It's like maybe maybe God steps in or a higher power steps in, whoever your higher power is, and gives this person the guidance, gives this person, or, or maybe it's a, uh, remember I said counsel when I looked at this card. Maybe it's a counselor. Maybe it's a legal counselor. Maybe it uh, could, could come from within. It's like they receive the guidance that, you know, you should let this go or you should move on. It's time to go. It's time to go. Move on from this. And somebody is headed towards love after after some not being in a love situation. It's like this is a this there's this there's not a love enough love here and it is about love. Somebody hasn't been being loved, obviously. And it's like it's time to go. So somebody is realizing with the Seven of Cups reversed that it's time to go. It's time to go towards love. Here somebody has been holding on to something that is not love, but they are going to see that there's an opportunity for love. So interesting. Somebody is shutting down their emotions and they're letting a loveless situation with somebody that they don't love or something like that or somebody that doesn't love them go. They're letting they're letting a unrequited love situation go okay they've been hanging on to it trying to prove themselves but i don't think they can do it anymore i gotta i gotta drop this this is too much for me could be dealing with a leo aries sagittarius because we got taurus here we have we could, we could have a pisces or a gemini uh pisces cancer scorpio this person right here um may have a self-image problem this person may be angry this person may be um shallow this person is um moody very controlling you think about the king of wands reverse this is this was a, if you think about it, it's just the feminine of the king this person is egotistical controlling self-centered unreasonable and this person is clinging to control. But I feel like this person may receive some sort of counsel or guidance from somebody that says it's time to move on. Now this doesn't have to be a fire sign. All of us can take on this energy. This is an energy. This is somebody who has a huge ego. And they're clinging to control. 
trying to stop somebody. They are. We saw it here. They were trying to stop somebody from going through that new door. All about control. We may have something to do with a child, but somebody's going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. Okay? This person delivers an honest, truthful message. This person is young or younger. Quite a bit younger. There's a big age difference. This person may... Um, be delivering a message to somebody, could be a council, some sort of council, or this person may be. Somebody is going to be dealing with a counselor of some sort. Um, this person may be telling this person something. Anyway, somebody is moving on, somebody is moving. There's going to be a message that is delivered that somebody doesn't want to hear. There's going to be a conflict. Somebody is breaking free from a situation. An obstacle is being removed. There's been some lies. Somebody has been trapped. They've been tied up. They've been stuck. It's almost like they've been in prison, but they're getting out of it. They're escaping this prison. It's coming out of the darkness. The difficulty is over. Headed towards wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. So somebody is letting go of something and they're headed towards something a lot more emotionally fulfilling. It's like this is it. They're going to have it all. They're absolutely going to have it all. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands reverse that is clinging to control. Fighting destiny and karma. So this is karma. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Somebody could get some karma. Remember I said be careful. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. So this is karma, Queen of Wands reversed. Let's clarify that. Now there could be some legal matters on the table here. Ten of Swords reversed. Now this is freedom, liberation. Somebody's going to be making a decision to end something, to break free from something because it's too painful, it's too much. Ten, ten, ten. Completion, completion, completion. And this is going to bring happiness to everybody involved. It really is. It will bring wish fulfillment when you let go, when you remove this obstacle, when you start to see things clearly, when you follow your heart, when you do the right thing, when you when you decide to move on and leave this whole thing behind. It's like somebody is leaving a troubled situation behind. They have been they've been given the guidance to do so. It's like you should just you should just move on from this. There's no need to be trapped here. There's this is a, this is an opportunity for you to escape. So somebody is going to realize they're going to see a situation clearly. Um, nine of coins reversed. Now this is somebody that must take action. When you get the nine of coins reversed, it's like you got to take action. You can't be scared. You got to let go of your insecurities. You need to find your discipline. We have somebody here that has no grace as well. They may project themselves to have grace, but they don't. When you're clinging to control and you're refusing to accept what is best, you're, you're, that's not very graceful. So this is, this is like somebody who doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, isn't very abundant, can't really take care of things very well. This is somebody that is lazy. Um, but th we do have closing of a cycle here. Even though the Wheel of Fortune is reversed because this is realizing a situation, seeing a situation clearly and coming out of that victim mentality, dealing with insecurities. We have somebody here that has a lot of insecurities and that's why they have been clinging to control to prove themselves, perhaps to their parents or to the family or to society. Somebody has really been wanting to prove that they, they can win. It's, it hasn't been about love and maybe it's like they get some sort of guidance I don't know how they get this guidance that, you know, it really is about love. And if you don't love this situation, then you should let it go. Karma is here. There is karma. Seven of Wands reverse. Somebody may feel like they're being attacked and that's why they let go. Somebody may be under attack. They may be feeling like they are definitely under attack and they need to protect themselves. Maybe they, they this could be defense. Maybe they, 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 this could be a defense lawyer. You know, somebody, I don't know what it is, but somebody may really need to protect themselves at this time. And maybe that's why the, this is breaking free, liberation. Maybe they decide, you know, the best thing for me to do is to break free. 
Um, two of coins reverse. This is poor, poor, poor decisions. Uh, very poor decisions. Somebody's made some poor decisions. This person doesn't have a lot of funds, doesn't have a lot of grace, doesn't have a uh, good character. Okay. Um, the two of coins reversed is making poor decisions. Somebody has made some poor, poor, poor decisions and now they're probably under attack. Poor decisions under attack. Three of coins, no more working together. No compromise. Somebody didn't work together. They didn't compromise. They were trying to prove themselves. There was a lack of a cooperation here. They wanted to make all the decisions on their own. And now there's a change in the family dynamics. There's a change on the home front. Somebody is probably going to get very frustrated as, you know, things aren't coming together as they thought they were going to. And they aren't coming together because of their need to control. God is in charge. Or there's a higher, higher power, whoever your higher power is. Chariot reverse. Now something is coming to a complete halt. There is going to be a painful separation that is necessary. This is a necessary painful separation. It's needed. It is. Somebody is letting go of a painful situation. And that's what I got. Good luck.